Hey everyone. Uh, today I have something that's been coming up a lot that I've been hearing, in, uh, not hearing, but reading in the comments is how do I keep my acrylics wet? Because apparently you guys have problems with um, the acrylics drying pretty fast on your palette. Uh, well, there's different methods. I can, because I paint pretty quick, um, all I have to do is probably mist it with this handy little pink bottle here, just like that. And then I could keep on painting during my session, but there are ways to keep the paint longer. Like I can do it to where I can keep the paint actually wet the whole entire day. All right, so I'm gonna show you now how to do that. So uh, first, well, this is one of my plein air boxes but we're gonna to come to that in a second. First thing is this. How do I keep my paints wet on this palette? Okay, so let me show you. The trick number one is this. I would take a regular house napkins, okay? Let me just put it like this. Fold it once, fold it twice. Just like this. Now two things, what I do is usually run this under the sink, keep it, you know, uh, soaking wet. And now we just do this to wring out the water, all the excess water, okay? But since I don't have the sink near me, what I'm gonna do is this. You can do it if you're out in the field, takes your misting bottles. There you go. You don't have to do it on the pallet like I just did, but just like that, all right? Front and back. Okay, I think we're pretty nice and wet now. Actually, perfect. It's not too, too wet. So what I do is take this, put it on here, and apply my paints right on top of here. I don't do anything in this part. I just leave it the way it is. Really what I just want is the paint to stay wet throughout the whole session so I don't have to continuously mist it. It works nice, especially if you live in the south or southeast, we're in the hot climate and you wanna keep, you wanna do acrylic plein air outside. Great way to go. So I just put the paint. So how does this really work? Is the water that's on the bottom of the paint will wick up into the paint itself and keep it moist for you. And the outside will not dry up on you either. It will not make a film. You could just, you know, um, uh, continuously paint and have fresh paint on there and it will not be a problem, okay? And then here, uh, I don't put anything here. I just paint because I mix pretty quickly and uh, you know, I, I know what I want. Um, but if, you want to keep this wet and you want to have control here as far as keeping your paints wet just like oils then comes uh, number two solution number two is to get yourself a masterson wet palette and you can find the links in my descriptions so this works basically almost the same way this is a small one they have larger ones 12 by 12 by 16, they have bigger, I just keep a mini one. I, sometimes I use it for my gouache, some dry paint. So basically this will be wet, okay? Just like the napkin was. You put it on here and then they would put a waxed paper on top, which the wax paper is wet too, all right? And then um, it will have this like capillary effect and it will stay wet and you can close this after a session and it will stay wet for a long time due to the humidity that's being kept in the palette and it will keep the paints wet 24 hours sometimes. I've had with my Masterson, the, the red or the blue version, which is a tight seal, very, very tight seal. It's the best one so far that I've used on the market, Masterson's. And then um, even better than this one, they really, really lock in airtight 
and I've had paint, acrylic paint, last for a week inside those. And if you're painting with golden open acrylics, which stays open very long, <laughs> you could, you could, this thing will last you for God knows how long. It'll stay wet for a very, very long time. Now, if you don't have, uh, if you don't want to buy those sheets of wax paper to put on here, there is an alternative and a cheaper one at that so you don't have to do this constantly. Get yourself parchment paper. Yes, use parchment paper, cut it out to the size of your palette. The parchment paper, you could wet it a little bit, okay? You could just put some water on it, just uh, let it soak just a little bit and put it on here under the, a foam pad like this, okay? Put the parchment paper on top and well, this will swell to the size of this eventually because this is dry. Once it's wet, it will it will expand. Okay, it will expand. So you put your part your parchment paper right on top of this, and uh, it will keep the this will keep the parchment paper wet, pretty much at all time. But just damp, not like soaking wet, but just damp enough to where you could put your paint on there, and it will stay wet long enough for you to go back to this color mix that you made and use it for whatever reason you have, okay? You can do that. And once you close it, the parchment paper will stay wet. The humidity, it's all about creating humidity inside. The humidity alone will keep the paint wet. Okay, remember, you're dealing with the water medium. So that's solution number two. Remember, if you don't wanna use wax paper, parchment paper. I, I had some brown parchment paper. I don't care what color it is. You, there's the white ones and then there's the brown ones doesn't matter um, the color is a color it'll stay the same no matter what so it's up to you and you can use the lid as a mixing as well if you don't you know if you want to but when you're used to painting fast all that doesn't matter except like if I was gonna plan air paint then I would use perhaps this method right here which will last me pretty long or the stay wet palette will last you very long Third option is when I do use a plein air box. This is a Gorilla Painter box. Oh, look at that. I still had some dried over. This is when I was using gouache to do a painting. But same principle. Yep, there you go. These were my gouache paintings in here. And I keep extra little palettes if I want to do like a quick plan air or whatever, study. So same principle, I will use this wet napkin just like this, all right? Um, and I will put all my paints here, okay? I would cut this napkin, of course, to fit. And I wouldn't even keep it that wide. I would even turn it even more, watch. There you go. That's all you really need, this thin of a strip. Just like that. Put your paints on here and start using your palette. I don't care if it dries on, on the palette because I can mix my colors back the way I want them to be. I can, I can pretty much match my colors as they were. But if you're not good with uh, mixing colors and attaining, especially in acrylics, and try to attain the same colors, then you could do the same thing with the you know wet parchment paper on here, okay? Um, you could put a soaked napkin filling, you know, like folded. Let me show you an example of what I'm talking about here. Might as well since I'm showing it to you. So you could put a wet napkin just like that cover. Put your parchment paper on top here, on top of this napkin. Okay, you have napkin here, napkin here, wet and put the parchment paper, it will be the same thing as your stay wet palette, but now the only difference is, it will last you pretty much the day, or at least, depending on how hot it is outside, it will last you your entire session of painting, especially if you're gonna do a small painting. This is gonna be like six by eight. So folks, these are the ways you can keep your paint wet and last while you're doing plein air. Now, one more that I didn't talk about. There are slow drying mediums. I could put my paint directly on here and put 
two to three drops of slow drying medium, uh, the retarders, on each paint dab that I put on here, okay? You can do that. Just put one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Mix the paint and that will slow the drying time of these paints while they're on top here. And you can use it for your paint session, especially if you're doing a small, like I wouldn't do like a big, uh, anything more than 11 by 14 plein air with acrylics, unless you have a method of keeping your paints wet long. Now, there is another way that you can, uh, you can use also, this is a trick that I learned a long time ago, is use, um, what is it? I think it was KY, you could find, if you could find any kind of KY jelly or like a, uh, like a, uh, like a liquid uh, lubricant, kind of like KY jelly, and put that, believe it or not, with your paints, and you will have fluid paint. Mind you, your paint will be a little bit more transparent than normal, okay, because you're adding more um, fluid, more medium to it, so it will be a little bit wet, uh, uh, not should I say wet, more transparent for a long time. So these are the ways you can keep your paints wet. Otherwise, if you're like me, and continue painting, and that's all there is to it. So I hope this little demo uh, helped you understand because I've had a lot of questions about that. So um, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and uh, anything more you wanna know about the materials that I use, let me know and I will help you out with that. And stay tuned, we have another Seascape coming in acrylics on the series of Ditch the Details. We're gonna do a Seascape doing just that. Folks, thank you again. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Help me out there. Thank you, guys.